A TV5 follow-up, a local teen back in her home thanks to the hard work of community members. The 17-year-old from Saginaw has been hospitalized for months. And TV5's Lenita Brooks spoke with her family. She joins us live in the studio to tell us about how they're feeling having her back home. Lenita. Yes, they are so happy and blessed to have Nadia finally home here and she, where she belongs. They got home late last night and they say it was a very, very emotional night. Just a, an amazing feeling that you just know without a shadow of a doubt it was a blessing from above. A blessing that led this teen back home. There's no way I could hold back my tears because you know we all want our, our, our Nadia home. She's been through a lot. Meet Nadia Hernandez, who we first told you about yesterday. The 17-year-old girl has a rare autoimmune disease that kept her in the hospital since January. She's healing beautiful, and the doctors all say that she can come home now. So we were ready for her to come home, but we needed a wheelchair ramp. And due to the high COVID prices, it was very hard to get Nadia that ramp. Until the community got involved, people started sharing Nadia's story and word got out that she needed help. And then all of a sudden I get a phone call that Carpenters Union and United Way are going to donate Nadia her wheelchair. Ride. That was such a blessing, a blessing from heaven for all of us. And we were there yesterday as United Way and Union Carpenters Local 706 built that ramp take care of a community need that is so important. They're just so appreciative for, for doing this stuff and it's, it's very fulfilling. And before getting sick, Nadia was a student at Heritage High School. Her family says for now they look forward to a steady healing process and spending time together as a family again at home. In studio, Lenita Brooks, WNEM TV5.